Hey everyone, welcome back to our CFA Level 1 prep series. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic, exchange rate calculations. Whether you dreamed of working in international finance or simply want to ace this part of the exam, understanding exchange rates is fundamental. We're going to break down cross rates, arbitrage opportunities, and forward calculations in a way that's clear and easy to remember. All right, let's start with the basics. When we talk about cross rates, we mean the exchange rates between two currencies that aren't directly traded with each other. These cross rates open up more opportunities for traders. Then we've got arbitrage relationships that help us understand how key market inputs are interconnected. It's really important to grasp the market forces that influence both spot and forward rates. If you wanna keep up with the global trade game, Imagine you're trading Canadian dollars and euros, but only have US dollars as a common quote. Here's how you can determine the cross rate. Suppose the exchange rate for CAD per USD is 1.0460, and for USD per UR, it's 1.2880. To find CAD over Euro, you multiply the two rates. The answer is 1.3472 Canadian dollar per Euro. Simple, right? Now, let's switch it up. If CAD per USD is 1.0460 and JPY per USD is 85.50, how do we find Japanese yen per Canadian dollar? First, invert the CAD per USD rate to get USD per CAD. Then multiply by the JPY per USD rate. The answer is 81.74 JPY per CAD. This way you can convert between any currencies using their common quotes. Now let's talk about bid and ask rates. The bid rate for CAD per USD is the inverse of the ask rate for USD per CAD and vice versa. This is crucial when considering triangular arbitrage, where discrepancies in these rates can lead to riskless profit opportunities. Triangular arbitrage comes into play here. If the cross rate quote isn't consistent with these calculations, there's an opportunity for arbitrage. For example, if a dealer quotes Japanese yen per CAD at 82, you could buy Canadian dollar at 81.74 Japanese yen, sell it at 82, and make a riskless profit of 0.26 Japanese yen per one Canadian dollar. This is called triangular arbitrage because it involves three currencies. Now let's talk about forward exchange rates, which are usually quoted in points or pips. The points are the difference between the forward rate and the spot rate. These points are adjusted to match the last decimal place of the spot quote. For example, if the spot exchange rate for USD per euro is 1.2875 and the one year forward rate is 1.28485, the forward point is minus 0 0.00265. You scale this by four decimal places, multiply by 10,000 to get minus 26.5 points. Swap points are the forward points quoted for each maturity. The longer the maturity or the wider the interest rate differential, the greater the forward points. To convert these points into a forward rate quote, use this formula. Forward rate is equal to spot exchange rate plus forward points divided by 10,000. If you need to calculate the forward premium or discount as a percentage, this is the formula. Let's look at an example. If the spot rate for USD per euro is 1.2875 and the forward rate is 1.2485, you have forward points equal to minus 0 0.00265 and the forward rate equal to 
when we talk about the relationship between spot rates, forward rates, and interest rates, there are two main alternatives for an investor. First is to invest at the domestic risk-free rate and grow your investment to one plus domestic rate. Second is to convert domestic currency to foreign currency at the spot rate. Invest at the foreign risk-free rate and then convert back using the forward rate, eliminating FX risk. These two alternatives should yield the same return if they have the same risk characteristics. Otherwise, arbitrage opportunities arise. If the foreign interest rates are higher than domestic rates, the forward rate will be higher than the spot rate, and the currency with the higher interest rate will trade at a discount in the forward market. For example, with a spot rate of 1.6535, a domestic 12-month risk-free rate of 3.5%, and a foreign 12-month risk-free rate of 5%, the 12-month forward rate would be 1.6775. If a dealer quotes a forward rate of 1.69, a riskless arbitrage opportunity exists. You could borrow at the foreign risk-free rate sell the foreign currency at the spot rate, hedge at the forward rate, and invest at the domestic rate, earning a profit. Forward rates are unbiased predictors of future spot rates, but can be poor predictors because the relationship is counterintuitive. For instance, if domestic interest rates rise, we expect currency appreciation, but it might also indicate slower expected appreciation. Forward points are directly proportional to the spot exchange rate, interest rate differential, and the term of the forward contract. To wrap up, understanding these concepts helps navigate the complex world of currency trading, arbitrage opportunities, and the impact of interest rates on forward and spot exchange rates. Remember to practice with examples, fin quiz, question bank, and end of chapter questions from the CFA curriculum. Stay tuned for more insightful lectures, and happy studying!